How's it going guys? We have a past level question for dermatology for step one and step two, okay? Nearly identical question shows up one of the NBME forms for step one. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below and I'll start the clip. So 46 year old woman, she has plaque psoriasis that is to be managed. Uh, she is prescribed topical calcipotriene, which is a vitamin D derivative, and triamcinolone, a topical steroid. She's, she asked the physician about UVA light therapy, which worked well for her cousin who also has plaque psoriasis. So uh, questions at, question asked, which of the following findings if present in this patient would make this latter therapy, UVA light therapy, contraindicated? Okay, so a bit of an unusual question. As I said, it's on the NBME exam. It's not my fucking opinion. So let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, cataracts. Wrong fucking answer. Okay, so by all means, you could say, well, I don't get it. Aren't cataracts, uh, which would be opacity of the lens of the eye, uh, wouldn't cataracts be exacerbated by UV light? I mean, that makes sense, right? I agree with you. Okay, not my fucking opinion. It's on the NBME exam. It's wrong. Okay, I mean, we could probably posit that assert that the UVA light therapy the patient would receive in theory, you're not going to do it in their fucking eyes, okay? And they probably have some sort of protection. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, erythema nodosum, wrong answer. So this is redness of the shins. It's not a rash, okay? This is actually a paniculitis, fancy word, okay? Paniculitis, which means inflammation of subcutaneous fat. And this is seen idiopathically in various autoimmune diseases, okay? Classically, sarcoidosis can be seen in Crohn disease. I double-checked this on Google, okay? Nothing about uh, contraindication of phototherapy uh, with erythema nodosum. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, melasma, wrong answer. So this is also known as cloasma. Uh, hyperpigmentation of the skin, classically in women who get pregnant, okay, so physiologic, and also women who've been taking OCPs for a while. So uh, I double-checked this on Google as well. In fact, pulse laser light therapy uh, is actually one of the ways to manage melasma in some patients, okay? So you think, well, if they have hyperpigmentation, you're exposing them to light, couldn't they further get uh, pigmentation in response to light? Okay, I mean, it's reasonable, right? But it's not true. And as I just fucking said, uh, pulse laser light therapy is one of the treatments for melasma. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, mycosis fungoides, wrong answer. So when students don't know uh, what's going on, they tend to choose weird sounding shit. This is a cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Okay, they'll tell you biopsy shows uh, T cells with cerebriform uh, shaped nuclei. And this can extend to the blood called Caesare syndrome or Caesare syndrome, a T cell leukemia. Okay, it can present as a rash. All right. And in fact, and once again, check this in the literature. Uh, UV light therapy is actually one of the treatments for mycosis fungoides in its earlier stages. Wrong fucking answer. Porphyria cutanea tarda is the correct answer, okay? So high yield that you know the heme synthesis disorders, and I'm not just saying that subjectively, all over the NBME exams. Now, look, I've made plenty of clips here on the YouTube uh, regarding exam strategy. So I have gone through all the NBME exams and I've taken the questions from the different forms. I've organized them subject specific into folders, which is what I do when I want to review certain topics with students over the Skype as an example. And I'm able to look at all the questions in a topic and I can see which topics show up over and over again. And the heme synthesis disorders, we talk about acute intermittent porphyria, porphyria cutanea tarda, okay, lead poisoning, sideroblastic anemia. These are all over the place, okay? Despite the fact that they seem a little bit difficult or a little bit nitpicky, they're all over the place. So porphyria cutanea tarda, you just need to know this is the one where you get photosensitivity, you get blistering photosensitivity, okay? So deficiency of weird enzyme, uh, uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase, that's not so crucial to memorize, okay? You assume these pass fail for step one, but you need to know this is the heme synthesis disorder where you have photosensitivity. It's really not complicated, okay? So a bit of an obscure question, but you can make an inference based on that. Acute intermittent porphyria, you don't get photosensitivity, but you'll get abdominal pain, classically red urine, okay? Sometimes neurologic dysfunction. 
Uh, you can treat uh, these disorders with hematin and glucose. Okay, porphyria, uh, sorry, acute intermittent porphyria, uh, porpho, porpho bilinogen deaminase uh, deficiency. Okay, vitiligo, wrong answer. So obviously this is going to be T-cell destruction of melanocytes. So you're going to have decreased melanocyte number and decreased number of melanosomes. Okay, now same with cataracts you say well why is vitiligo wrong per se i mean if you had decreased protection from the sun in the setting of you know absent melanocytes from t-cell destruction and decreased melanin i mean couldn't that be an in a contraindication to uv light therapy i agree with you okay not my fucking opinion so cataracts vitiligo wrong for this question uh nbme slash usmla they want porphyria cutanea tarda you know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.